hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can create system tray based application using python programming language and i'm using python and qt framework and the reason because qt is cross-platform and you can use the same tray for your windows mac and linux based operating system so first let's just have a look what is system tray and then we'll see our python code so guys before i start if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe that will appreciate me whenever i see bigger number here that actually in, uh, uh, appreciate me to create more videos for you okay thank you guys for subscribe now let's just see what is tray icon first let's just show you i will show you some of the images from google uh, which is uh, you can see here and since I'm using windows it's better to see here So you see here system tray is basically you see these small icons here in your right bottom and There mostly you will see like your Wi-Fi and uh, your OBS studio that that software that I'm using right now And you can right click here and you see many menus here for example start recording start streaming right now i'm recording with this so you can see there is a stop recording option there but you can create your own you can add your own icon here and you can add your own set of menus here that will be so much fun because you can add your own softwares and your own pipeline tools there so users no need to go into the start and uh, then find out your application so that will be very handy another part which will be great in this is you can actually send notification like balloon notification here in this so that will be much more fun so let's start first and create very simple system tree based icon and I'm covering this uh, uh, code in PyCharm and after that I will up upload this entire code into my repository so after this video uh, i will add inside my repo and you can get download from there okay so let me just open my ide first and here one simple code i i just already created a some sort of a, a sample base template code and which you can also use that and you can modify according to your requirement and i will show you like how you can modify this code and this is very simple i just add few functions here and there is okay so let's just start first thing what we need so we need first pysci2 and if you don't have pysci2 installed uh, you can install through pip pip install python 2 and that will be installed in your system and if you are using pycharm ide you can go to file settings and then settings window will appear here you can see project interpreter and here pysci 2 is already installed right now which is the latest version if not then you can hit this plus icon and here you can type pysci 2 and that will be installed in your uh, python environment and right now i'm also using a Py python virtual environment and if you don't know a python virtual environment go and check back my video which i already created previously what is uh, python environment see here virtual environment that is very useful video that will help you to go along with this video okay so now let's just continue with our uh, our code so first thing is i just imported pysci2 from pyside i imported qt widgets and qt gui and that these both are required because one thing which i we want is uh, this is system tray icon and we want to get system tray icon from qt widget class okay so now first we will start with our main code here and here we will start a app and app in pyqt we always start with qwidget.q application and uh, if you if you want to go more detail with this how we can create apps definitely you can go back to my channel here i previously created many videos related to qt so that will help you that i don't want to repeat myself to actually just to uh, show you one thing again and again there is actually all the qt based so here you can see uh, here qt uh, create file browser in python uh, build video player with qt so the thing which is uh, main and this this part is actually i already covered there the only thing that which you want to see here is here we are using system tray icon class and that we will creating a a class and we are inheriting this uh, q system tray icon class right that's what important in this first thing is we will create a instructor and let's just see this instructor what we are doing here and uh, here 
we can set a tooltip and this tooltip is basically when you go to the system tray you see here I, I come here in the down and I click uh, I just hover my mouse on my icon I see OBS studio and here each application name is coming when we hover so that's basically the tooltip which what you want to display on your icon okay let me just simply run my tray and then you will get better understanding so I my tray is already running and now you see this there is a red icon here right and let's just hover and you see here VFX pipeline application build right so VFX pipeline application build is basically coming from here and uh, here you can add something more so, okay so now I change and let's just rerun and uh, hey you can see that VFX pipeline channel application build perfect so let's just revert back so this is a uh, first thing which you need to see and you can change this first and next thing is you can see here which is this and this is basically the context menu inside the app so what is context menu when you right click on any of any of the tray icon you see right click here OBS option you see and here if you right click you will see some option so by default I just added open notepad and you can see that this open notepad here and this code is responsible for adding this right click option here which is open notepad right but here you can see that it's triggering open notepad function which is very simple function here here I just call uh, notepad command with OS dot system so this is basically same if you if you go to the command prompt of uh, Windows and just type notepad or you type here notepad it's same so with that if I right click here if I see click on open notepad and notepad will open so this is very simple uh, function which I hook up which I trigger from when somebody click open app right but now if you see that uh, on there are some functionality which you can uh, create or you can add attach on click on your icon so for example let's right, say uh, right now if I single click here uh, nothing is happening but if I double click here the notepad will open so this is how you can add for that you can you can go to this another function which is this second function on tray icon activated let's just open this function and here I say that if my reason is double click then open notepad so if single click no problem nothing open but if I double click see so on double click my notepad will open but if you want on single click open then you can use something like this let's just close uh, double click and then indent is missing rerun the application and now double click it doesn't matter on single click you can open now your single click is actually trigger the open notepad let's just keep up to notepad double click okay so guys this is it for that that's it I mean that's uh, if you use this and you can create your own tray so how I can get this red icon here you can see there is an icon.png here which is I used here if you see look closely here tray icon system tray icon icon.png you just go and create add your own image there and that's it then your icon will be visible there perfect okay now it's time to add some more context menu in front of you so it will help you to create your own icon uh, this uh, system tray app very easily so all you have to do you just I hope that you already downloaded this code from my repository and repository is this it's very simple github.com slash vfx pipeline and you will get here the first one okay so now the thing is uh, we need to create one more context menu so let's just copy the first code here and paste it here and in programming we do a lot of copy pasting because there are many things which we just need to rename and things will be worked perfectly so this one let's just create one more context menu which is open uh, calculator okay so this will be my new context menu here okay and right now the icon I'm not changing but you can later you can change icon to calculator icon and that will update so open calculator okay 
so this will be that and right now this is already connected to notepad but that's what we don't want so we we want to create one more function which is open calculator right open calculator and the command is calc that's the command so that will open windows calculator okay and this one change to open calc and don't use this uh, brackets after your function otherwise it will execute whenever the code run so just remove that okay so now our code already rerun let just go here right click and you see here right now we have open notepad open calculator so open netpad will open a notepad and right click open open calculator will open a calculator right so let's just add one more context menu and then we will end this video and that context menu will be exit i think all application should have that see the last one is exit exit so exit is kind of uh, nice to have that menu exit so let's just add exit and uh, name here also exit and instead of what what we are connecting we are actually saying we are not connecting with any function we will call system sys dot exit okay so that's what we are going to execute and uh, something wrong yes we need to put a lambda otherwise this will be execute straightforward all right now let's just go and rerun our code and uh, now let's see right click perfect we have exit here open calculator one time let's just see this also okay open calculator working right click exit and now your application exit so guys that's it for this video i hope you understand you learn something new and uh, you can just feel free to go and download this code and uh, you can make your own changes and use it in your own application all right so maybe related to this i will create more videos so for that please stay tuned and subscribe my channel and uh, link you can find in the description of this video from where you can download this source code thank you guys i will see you in my next video